PRs are going to look ugly. <laughs> Well, because the thing is, I think you'll be able to tell who's been grinding, even if it's online. Things are, oh, you facts. know, the game plays very differently, obviously, and I'm not taking anything away from anyone who's found success offline. But the reality is, is if you're kind of grinding this game day in and day out, even if it is with online, like, you're still going to improve. It's just how it works. So we'll see how that impacts offline, but we do have some time before that happens. Great facts, no printer, my friend. Yep. If anything, we do have to get to these losers final first before any offline comes back. That is objectively true, so we'll see, man. I, I don't know. Unless offline comes back, like, literally right now. Yeah, the breaking news and there's, like, a local happening right now. Probably is a local happening right now. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. Somewhere in the world. I don't know if there should be, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> loses finals. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally in complete best of five territory. Let's see what uh, Xavier is going to be able to whip out against Remzi here. Yeah, in our man. first best of five of the night. Yeah, and I noticed, uh, you know, Remzi taking on some quick damage. So despite the partiality to Squirtle, you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of Squirtle at the moment. And I actually have no idea how Squirtle fares against like a Wii Fit trainer. I would think good. Maybe not, though. I would imagine good as well, you know, small enough to avoid some of those annoying little hitboxes. Quick enough where the cross-ups won't necessarily matter because they'll be able to drift away easier. And more than anything else, they'll be able to combo like a tall character like Wii Fit to pieces. You know what I mean? Is that up air is going to take the stock. Wii Fit's really tall. Squirtle's really small. Usually it's typically the smaller the better in a game like Smash. You know, you're even if, especially if you got a good combo game. Wii Fit will just get torn to pieces if Squirtle's able to break it up close. As far as rushdown goes... As the berry jab, the jab is going to take the stock. As far as rushdown goes, I feel like Squirtle should definitely beat a character like Wii Fit to the punch. And this is what I'm talking about. Once Squirtle is actually in, they can just actually press buttons in Wii Fit's face. And unless they, you know, <laughs> accidentally miss base something and are too close, you know, to Wii Fit in a laggy situation or whatever, to the point where, you know, they'll just F-tilt. I feel like Squirtle can just get away with a lot of pressure on a character like Wii Fit, I suppose. Like, right there, like, see? Just running in the face oh, of Wii yeah. Fit. Do you think Ivysaur can just run at Wii Fit and do that? Yeah, and this, uh, like, Remzi's looking pretty fearless as far as approaching Xavier goes, and maybe they, you know, they should be. The, 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 oh, you get hit by the hula hoops, I think? Yes. All right, yeah, because I was looking like it was going to be a down air instead. Gonna get the binds. Take out Xavier from the side, so... Yeah, I mean, Ramsey is actually, despite going down early, now looking really poised to win the game one. Mm hmm. Well, I'm saying, man, you know, this Squirtle up close at something else. Oh, but a beautiful punish on the part of Xavier, getting actually the weak hits of that side B right there, and still managing to get a combo. That's how you know this person is, in fact, a Wii Fit main. That's the option by the ledge, though. Now, it's able to reset stage control once again. Just feeling out the neutral right now with these projectiles at this point, but it is still very much in the favor of Remzi. Up that stock. You know Xavier is going to be the one who's going to have to pull out the stops right here if they want to close this gap. And this is not how you do it, getting stuck on the platforms. Rising neutral air, beautiful option to drift away in case it doesn't work as well. Now remzi has got Xavier exactly where they want them, on the ledge, giving Wee Fit a taste of their own medicine. Okay, seed. you know, I see what he was going for there with the bullet seed, but you're still kind of wild for that. Agreed. Uh, so all it's going to take here is, I don't know, maybe it could be a back air, could be a F-tilt. Charizard's pretty heavy, so maybe not that simple. Um, Xavier might actually have to work for this kill at the moment. And then still has a whole other stock to go, so really Remzi's game to lose. For sure, my friend, for sure. But I've seen Deep Breathing take games pack in like three, four hits from the depths of hell, so... I I'm not saying nothing until the screen says game! He did it! Yo, he did he a did Flare it. Blitz! He heard me! That was good! Oh, let's go, Remzi! That was a good Flare Blitz, because he didn't get no, no punishment or anything, and probably made like, Xavier terrified. <laughs> well, now he's probably never going to do it again, because he's like, Damn, <laughs> he's my like, one Flare Blitz <laughs> didn't work! All I right. knew that move was bad! <laughs> I knew it! Alright, dash attack, oh, Lord. speaking of moves that are not bad. Um, that is one of them. Especially when you got deep breathing, so I know you said, oh my god. So we'll see. Oh no, that's unpunished. So yeah, we'll see if what you say is correct. I mean, I know Xavier needs to find the deep breathing first. But if he is and able to bring this game back, 
everything yes. you said earlier will be quite valid, but I don't know, man. I feel like Renzi is all over Xavier right now, so I don't even yeah. know if I'm going to see that. Oh, there it is. Ain't going to say nothing until the screen says game, and there it is. I'm saying something, Renzi won. Yeah, we did. So, yeah, down there at the ledge, uh, Xavier, really good survivability, but there's only so much you could do about that, especially with that kind of recovery. Um, you know, that, that that is something that Ivysaur is going to catch pretty much nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Let's take a look at it again. I love the choice of going for an up air there. That was way less committal than an up smash would have been in case it didn't uh, in case it didn't work because he was at 165. Definitely just didn't want to get like drop through platform F tilted or something like that or drop through fared, whatever. Decided to just do a drifting away up air, knowing that it would would have been a little safer. There's the vine whip confirm right there, and then capitalizing right here with the sun salutation. This is just a dash attack. Yeah. Yeah, we won't see the last clip, but that's fine. Unfortunate. You saw what happened. Yeah, he got you, down there. You guys get it. And if you're watching on YouTube, you remember. You, you, you just remember. It's all good. Mm -hmm. right, so, Ramsey up one game. Xavier looking pretty good. He does have some work to do. And this is best of five, though. So, I mean, if this continues to be back and forth, we could be in for a little bit of a longer set. But Xavier's going to have to do quite a bit of work basically get himself back on track. <laughs> that he does, my friend, that he does. And I'm thinking about PS2 as the pick. Makes a lot of sense to me. You know, Wii Fit Trainers' general archetype is that they like to, you know, play the long game or, you know, as you mentioned earlier, you know, like, technically the optimal thing to do with this character is just camp ledge, ledge. plank ledge. Yeah. And now they this stage will not only give them a better way of doing that, but a better way to just camp as well if Xavier ever feels they need to do that. And that makes sense to me, if I'm being honest, Chris, with the way that Xavier was getting rushed down by that Squirtle. It was exactly like I was saying before, you know, getting rushed down by that character is not easy when you have not only the stature of Wii Fit, but also the awkward hitboxes of that character, if that makes any They're sense. Pretty and, awkward, yeah. Yes, and on a small stage, Chris, that that's even worse. That's even worse for a character like Wii Fit to deal with. PS2 will at least give him a chance to camp the Squirtle if he ever feels like he has to, which, honestly, he might with the way that he was dealing with it. Yeah, a really scary situation there for a moment for Xavier. Possibly, you know, potentially getting down air, but still going to survive. And yeah, this is very much Ramsey controlling game two, much like he did game one. Um, Xavier going to have to find a little bit different way to deal with some of what Ramsey's thrown out, because I mean, Ramsey's just been so aggressive. Mm hmm. Still throwing out a hitbox in Wii Fit's danger zone right there. Forward air gonna do it. One of those awkward hitboxes I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Might be awkward, but you know, you still put yourself in the right spot, you'll get hit by it. It's awkward, but powerful. Yeah, it Much is. like, um, I, never mind, what, what's up, no, what are you say, saying? It's definitely powerful, uh, and it looks weird. It doesn't look like one of those moves that should be, but if you are hit at, you know, whether it be the hands or the feet, you are definitely getting knocked back too far. If that move wasn't powerful, then what the hell would its usage be? Now it's just a weak move with just a hitbox that sends that that uh, comes out like diagonally. There are characters that have moves like that in this game. You know what I mean? Where you're just like, why well, didn't do anything? I mean, I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know what? You're probably right. I'm not saying that's how it should be, but you're probably right. Makes sense to me, though. Oh, not getting caught out of the rapid jab right there. He was rapid jabbing nothing for a solid two seconds. Not gonna do it, though. Whoa. Whoa. That, like... I mean, it, I'm not surprised it killed, but I also was not expecting that to kill. And it looked like it almost hit him. So I don't know what happened. My man got lit up like the 4th of July. Yeah, that, that's the type of thing that makes Ivy Sword such a great character. He's literally up air and down air. Like, like, those are very dangerous moves. Remember when that move used to be bigger? God, unfortunately, I do. <laughs> oh my god, he actually knew. He knew that the ball was coming there and was prepared with the switch, but didn't do it at the right time and got hit for it. Blair Blitz? Ah, uh, you're not beast. He's going for the optimal stuff. He's hanging back and holding the B button. Yeah, not pressing it once. Definitely a much more optimized trainer in a sense. Up. Maybe not the optimized Zard, but perhaps the optimized trainer. Hard to say. This is the golden Zard, dude, at Prestige. Oh, it was actually going for the Flare Blitz. I don't know if you saw the animation. But yeah, I did. 
right at the very beginning right there, getting caught out of the startup right before the invulnerability came out. Ramsey lands out a block. lot. And I guess you kind of have to if you're playing a lot of Squirtle or just Pokemon Trainer in general. Very clutch. Mm -hmm. The jab lock with the Squirtle. Vomiting water all over this Wii Fit Trainer. I mean, I'm sure they're used to dousing water all over themselves after a good workout, but definitely not if it's coming directly from the body of a turtle. This is gonna sound, That's just... This is going to sound probably gross, but do you think the water that comes out of Squirtle, do you think it's, like, warm? I would be surprised if it wasn't. <laughs> and if it wasn't, and it was somehow cool and clear, then we would be able to solve the world's, you know, water crisis. By harvesting these little things. It would have to, yeah, it has to be. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, but then, you know, PETA would be, like, all over that and stuff. They'd be like, oh, hashtag free the squirtles. Even though, like, they don't even know what's going on because they're a dumb frickin' squirtle and they're saving the world. The thing is, is like, like turtles are cold-blooded, so it might not be. That's, a thing. That's true. That's it a good point, like you know. It regular-ass room temperature water. But it could also mm. just be, like, not. When you know, said just... warm, I was sort of just thinking not cold. If I'm being <laughs> yeah, at the very no. least, we can at the very least the one thing we can confirm is that the water that comes out of Squirtle's body <laughs> is not cold, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, all... You heard it here first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's at the very least not cold. Oh my! Oh, goodness. get dumpstered. Yeah, that's the tough part about challenging Trainer off stage. They all hit pretty hard, except for Squirtle, as far as like, sending you down. That right there is another reason I feel like Pokemon Trainer does really good in this matchup. You know, like, Xavier doesn't just have to worry about, like, dealing with the pressure of Squirtle and not really having too many options to contest that up close. But then offstage, they gotta worry about Ivysaur. That's an exploitable recovery. You it know, is. when you have the, when you have a hitbox that is as huge as Ivysaur's down air and is a spike that sends you directly down, it's essentially like a better version of, like, Pikachu and Pichus, if you would. Albeit on a much less mobile character. Which, against Wii Fit's recovery, you don't really need. Unless Wii Fit is able to drift back and get around it, which Wii Fit is able to do sometimes, but not always against a move that big, my friend. It's yeah. like, it's like, Wii Fit, Wii Fit sort of gets the worst of both worlds, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, this character's gonna pressure me up close, but I don't have, at least I don't have to deal with being edge guarded. No, there's another character that's in this same character built in that lets you do that, you know? Mm -hmm. Part of the uniqueness of tra Trainer. Yeah, I mean, I, I still think Trainer's a really good character, personally. I do too. Yeah. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of other characters that are probably just objectively better, but I mean, there, there's no shortage of no shortage of mix when it comes to Pokemon training. I mean, the character literally mixes up what character the player. Oh, oh, bleh, oh, oh. <laughs> <That would've laughs> I made the barf sound. I distracted him. <laughs> probably would have been stock. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I definitely expected the stock to come out there, but not able to land at that time. Instead, fishing for these down tilts. A move not very commonly seen with Squirtle. A move that is probably Squirtle's worst move, if we're being completely honest with ourselves. But anyway, gonna take the stock right there. Remzi up a whole stock, only one more to get his immediate run back against Rivers. Yeah, uh, which is... was a 3-0, so... Rem's going to be really looking to make up for that, I would imagine, because we've really been playing fantastically all day. It's just, you know, running into Rivers pretty much in any circumstance is no easy task. So getting another chance at that, probably good. And going to make it back. Okay, yeah. mm, I like that. Xavier being a little patient, running back and getting stage control. Recognizing that they need it, and essentially just running back to prepare themselves for the Remzi side B, which I think he was very afraid of at that point, which is probably why he gave himself a little bit more room to react to it. Yeah, I, I, that seems reasonable. And yeah, Xavier's gonna have to dig really deep here because Remzi is up 2 0. Um, so really, this could be it within the next few seconds unless Xavier is able to find something. Uh, maybe it is just a, a nice little string while being uh, deeply breathed. Ooh! And might be it. Oh my god, oh that my almost god. The side B on the platform was so smart! Right, good position oh. for Xavier. It really brought Oh, this is back. a beast side B if I've ever seen one. Oh. oh! Salute the sun. Oh, bombs are sweaty. Spaghetti! Dude. Yeah, this this one this one. Oh, this is a full a of bit stressed. Yeah, this is a full Italian meal, Chris. This is a full Italian meal. Yeah, Xavier at Luigi's. Oh my god! Oh, uh, the yeah, space is back here too. Oh, I knew it! Oh my god! He didn't punish! Holy! Mo
Holy Dude, Xavier is really respecting all of the space here from Remzi and Hummetan, but so gets him on the backside of the F Winning uh, the first game of the set. Going for Xavier. Staying alive, fighting at least one more game here. Um, what a hell of a comeback right there. Deep breathing, definitely was, assisting with that. He was down pretty far. Uh, down entire stock plus, so that was really pretty clutch all around to come through and win in that. Yeah, that down air is really what killed him right there because it let uh, let uh, Renzi get a down air of their own. And then resetting once again right here. Beautiful forward air with the deep breathing. Hi, uh, matching up perfectly with that <laughs> yeah, forward air. That was, nice. that was pretty sick. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That's definitely a high yaw move if I've ever done did see the one in my life. The crazy thing is, dude, is I feel like there was that. Yeah, like Xavier, almost went a little earlier, like hitting Squirtle with deep breathing, F smash. So I just feel like once that happened, really sort of took like the uh, the emotional control, so to speak, of that game. So here we are, uh, two one. <laughs> the emotional control. Dude, I, I like that. that term. Dude, I love that term. That's like a big Nick Seed thing. Where he talks about like the emotional <laughs> advantage. I think it's hilarious, and I honestly think it's a real thing. <laughs> Never heard that. Oh, that's hilarious. Like have, yeah, have like an emotional uh, meter or whatever. I gotta tune into his stream more because that's actually amazing. He's got the emotional advantage. He's holding his heart, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, small battlefield once again. I don't blame Remzi for wanting to go back here. You know, able to easily overwhelm a character like Weefit Trainer. Weefit likes to have that space, like, really make, really give Weef, uh, what am I trying to say? Really give Weefit all the time in the world to react while they can just hang back and charge deep breathing and sun salutation. They're able to get their win condition. You know what I mean? Like, Weefit is able to get their win condition so much easier on bigger stages. Whereas on small battlefield, especially against characters like Squirtle and Ivysaur, they have the potential to get rushed down so much easier. Which is why I do not blame Remzi for coming back to the stage at all. Yet I low-key blame Xavier for not banning it, because I'm not sure what else, what other stages would have been that much worse to ban. I'm imagining he probably got rid of Smashville, and maybe Battlefield, because Wii Fit's landings can be a oh. little bit exploitable as is. But none of that's going to matter if Remzi's going to be SD'ing like that. Yeah, that looked, uh, it was weird, because, you know, I don't, oh my goodness, I don't really know the properties of, like, the... The, the IV sort of recovery, but like it looked like it, it hit the it hit the head, it just didn't bring him in. So I don't know. In any case, uh, you know, bygones be bygones. Things mostly getting evened up again. Although Xavier, still very fresh on the stock. Yeah, bygones. We said that to him when he left. Bygones. Bygones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hitting him with the spike hitbox of the forward air right there. That actually can set up for some pretty good combos if you know it's not strong enough to, uh, if it's not strong enough to force attack on the ground, which it wasn't right there. He actually could have grabbed him for that, but I don't think he realized his, the... Dude, Xavier. I don't think he realized the percent was in his favor, but my god, turn him up. This advantage situation from Xavier right here, turning it on and turning it up like he's at a damn rave. Yeah, let's see, man. Uh, this could be very big. I mean, we went from nearly three, st uh, uh, nearly a 3-0 to potentially, a, a, you know, what could be a close game five set. Uh, Xavier in pretty good control here, though. Um, confidently taking that deep breathing and still getting hit for it. I, I don't know. I kind of lucky in some sense, but I don't know. Maybe calculated too. Uh, all right, so that's gonna be. Charizard yeah. F smash, or I'm sorry, up smash to take that. And the thing is, is yeah, with deep breathing now, yeah, we're seeing F tilts come out. Uh, yeah, this is one good read away from being Xavier going to game five. And I gotta say, in textbook uh, Pokemon trainer fashion, which Remzi does definitely have a textbook Pokemon trainer, they are electing to not even go Squirtle to get that rush down damage because they're up. They were at 74% on their respawn and didn't want to die to a deep breathing at some unholy percent because you already see <laughs> what happens. he's getting hit by right here with Ivysaur. Squirtle would have been dead already. See? Yeah, that right there. That would have been a dead Squirtle, mm -hmm. a thousand percent, or 124, give or take. Yeah. So, oh my God, shooting that wizard and still alive. Yeah, not charging another deep breathing right there, which is interesting. Oh, oh my god, he was expecting him just to go back. And, and honestly, I wouldn't have been surprised if Xavier did that. So really good play from Xavier, not falling for that, but... Still Feeling himself up. Oh, he could have back aired there! Oh he god. had the back air for the second one out of the jump, but he didn't want to commit to it. 
Oh, Ramsey could have. I think Ramsey might have thrown this game. Oh my goodness. A neutral reset once again. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, finally yeah. getting the scoop. Oh my god, he had a second back air and just chose not to go for it. Beast would have gone for that 10,000%. I'm sorry. I know I'm bringing up Beast once again, but. I mean, we see him I'm almost just every week, so it's understandable yeah. to not draw the comparison, but Ramsey. Whew, narrowly pulling that out. I mean, still had another game to work with, but man, that was actually very close. And shout out to Xavier, man, really pushing Ramsey kind of to the limits here. Uh, despite not making it into a game five, really, really tough fought set. Let's take a look at the situation. Once again, just caught on the platform right after this, or not even caught on the platform. Just getting the up smash raw. There was a situation where he just had the option to back air once again, but chose not to go for it. And just choosing to stay safe as some Pokemon trainer players are one to do. Like I said, a very typical textbook Pokemon trainer fashion. Mm -hmm. Good stuff to Ramsey. Getting that run back against Rivers. Going to be able to go in for our grand final 